Hello guys and welcome back to our uh Waravel and backpack tutorials. Last time what we did with you was uh, uh we created a migration. That migration was related to creating this tax table. Uh this is the next uh, tutorial. Our main purpose at the end of those tutorials will be to have our a simple article, create, read, update, delete with tags and file uploads for images. Uh, currently, we're about to create our create, read, update, delete for uh, tags. In order to do so, you need to have Laravel installed. We are using Laravel 9.x, the latest version, uh, based on the date where we're recording this. Uh, Backpack, we are using again latest version. We have the virtual host set up. Uh, XAMPP is up and running for us. You could see it. And we have all the rest installed. If you're just starting to watch this video, please click on this tutorial. And in this tutorial, first you need to create the migrations. So uh, I'm assuming that you already have run the migration and you have uh, all the tables that you need created. So this means that you have the tax table and inside the migrations, uh, I could see that this has run successfully. So the next thing that we need to do is create a uh, create read update delete for tag. What I'm going to do is type php artisan backpack, then crud, then tag. Please keep in mind that in here I'm using the single form for creating the crud operation. I'm not using the uh, plural form of the word tag. When I run this, uh, I should get a message whether it executed successfully or no. So I'm running it. Let's see. Yes. Uh, I'm being asked uh, how do I want to make the validation rules. The validation rules will be based on request. So clicking again, typing request and clicking enter. And I see the that everything executed successfully. And I get a message that if I refresh my page, I should see tags. As you could see, yes, this has been updated. But if I go to attack, I have name and swag. And if I click save, we have an error. So why this is happening? One step behind. Um, Backpack created for us a new model. And that model is inside app model stack. So if I go to app, then if I search for models folder, I could see these tags. So I see here that we have the mapping. The model is named tag, but it's searching for tax table and we know what is the unique ID. This is good. Then the next thing it created for us is tag crude controller. This controller is inside app, then HTTP, then controllers, then admin, and then we have the tag crude controller. This tag crude controller has some setups, setting the entity names, is there any prefix, then showing what uh, should be visible in the list, then create operation, it says, hey, use uh, for validation the tag requests, uh, show fields for name and swag, and then this is the update operation. The next thing it does is it creates a request file for us. This request file is inside app HTTP request tag request, so app HTTP. Then we are searching for requests, tag requests. Uh, using request file is one of the ways how you could uh, move around Laravel. The idea is that I have a request specifically created for this entity tags, and this is extends the form request. Extending the form request, it gives me several methods that I could use out of the box. One of them is I could easily check whether I'm authorized to make this request. And if I'm not authorized, it will automatically return an error. And uh, this is really useful when it comes to providing different permission levels to different uh, users. Another one is you have rules, attributes, and messages. We will be using the one related to rules. But uh, before that, let's continue. The next thing that uh, uh, Backpack updated for us, it updated the rules. Rules is where you define uh, all the rules, which it means currently, if we have a middleware, this is the middleware for admin. Uh, this is the namespace which we are using. And we say, hey, we have crude controllers. These are uh, all the crude controllers for user. It's user crude controller. All the crude controllers for tag is tag crude controller. And how do we know that this is crude controller? Well, you see, we have create, 
then we have the normal listing, then we have view, then we have delete. If I go to users, currently I'm in slash user. If I click uh, create, I go to create. If I open and click edit, I go to edit. I, ha I have the reference of the user as a parameter. If I go to preview, I'm on show method. So this is why it's uh, having all these predefined. So Laravel is predefining these for us because if you try to check this root crude, you see them predefined pointing to the correct place inside this controller. So uh, we have the controller and the last but not least, it updated the view. It updated the view and views in Laravel are inside resources, views, vendor, and then it updated the sidebar and how it updated the sidebar, it automatically added this to us. It creates the backpack URL for tech and then we have a different icon. In one of the next session, I will show you how to update the icons because you see currently it's still question mark for both of these. But what you need to know is that backpack uh, creates model for us, creates the controller, creates the requests, updates the rules for routes, and then it goes and updates the view. So if, you, if I go one step back on the MVC pattern, and actually it actually did everything for us. It updated everything for us. And if you compare this to the MVC uh, simple app that we had, there is a video recording, you could check it in the channel. Uh, you see that in here with only one command, it's making a, a fully functional create read update of de uh, delete for us. So one step to the future. I have tags, but if I click save, we have an error. And this error is that there is an integrity constraint uh, name cannot be new. Yes, and this is expected because if you check the tax folder, you know that we said that uh, this should not be knowable. Also, we created unique indexes on both of them. So uh, what we are missing here is that we are missing a validation. We are missing the validation for name and so and we uh, are not telling uh, Backpack that these two should be mandatory. And how we do that? Well, the easiest way is just by editing the rules and rules are part of the requests once you create a create read update delete it's really good practice to have a request and in that request you could have different rules applying for your uh, entity this means that as you are editing the same entity you could know what are the predefined rules for this which means uh, you could have uh, all these validation rules they come out of the box for your Laravel. Also, Backpack has some custom ones, but up to now we'll uh, base our stuff on the uh, default ones. And how do we know how to use this? Well, usually uh, you need to know what is the name of the field. In our case, uh, the name of the tag is actually name. So we have the name column here. That's why in the code we are staring and stating, hey, name is required. It should be minimum three symbols. Let's say make this three and maximum 255. And we have the work again, this is required. It should be minimum five symbols and maximum this number of symbols. And if I just save this tag request file, again, app HTTP request tag request and refresh the form, you notice that now there is a sign that these two are mandatory. And if I try to save them, we get an error. And uh, for example, if I type only two symbols here and four here, uh, again, it will go and make the validation for us. That's really nice of Faravel because it's extremely flexible and it allows you to, to make many, many, many things. So for example, if I add test here and then add the test swag and save it, then all of this is valid. I get a message that the item has been added successfully. And I have an option to preview this. I have an option to delete. Again, extremely important rule. Anytime when you are making a system, it doesn't matter what kind of system you are making, but please always add a confirmation when you are deleting stuff. People are clumsy by default and they will go and delete everything. You could not imagine how many things people could delete. So that's why you should always have a confirmation like this stay, stating, hey, uh, this is deleted. So we have already deleted the item. You see, we don't have it. So I'll create a new one. It's new one, then new one. Saving it. 
you see it in here. If I go one step back and go to the tax, it's already part of the tax table. It uh, It's automatically updating, created and updated that, which allow us to keep track and just uh, uh, it's easier to monitor. So you see it was created at this time and it was updated at again the same time because it's only for the minute, but in here it should be visible. So if I refresh, you see that it was created on uh, in 22 seconds after uh, 27 minutes and in here it's 41 seconds. So this is automatically updated for us. And if I make another one, then the difference here will be visible as well because it's already in different minute. So that's easy to just make something uh, usable. You could uh, use the filters and this comes out of the box for you in Laravel. All you had to do was have the migration, uh, then adjust the validation. I'm not going to go deeper in the validation because it's up to you to check the documentation. My idea is to tell you, hey, you could use that. And then uh, what is left for you is to play around and check are there any issues, how you could use it, and then move to the next part, which is creating the articles and then connecting the articles with these tags. So see you.